Hey Jake, how do I make a sock ball? It's simple. Grab a sock and then start at the top and just keep rolling it. Keep on going until it is vaguely round, spherical, and it works great for games. Hey, so here's what you can do with the stand on one foot challenge with your sock ball or ball or basketball or stuffed animal, whatever you want to use. Sitting on one foot, whatever position you want to. You want to hold it out for more of a challenge. I'm going to put one leg next to my other one. I can also set it on my other foot, but I'm trying to stay on one leg and I'm going to try to toss it back and forth as many times as I can. When I go to the other leg, give it a, a shake, standing on that other foot, and go. And this is really good if you want to get good at balance. So if you're into skateboarding, balance is a really important thing. If you're into dancing, ballet, um, balance is going to be a really important thing. Other things that could include balancing, slacklining, riding a bike, gymnastics, tightrope, standing still, leg strength, balance being that's gymnastics, basketball, gymnastics again. If you're deciding to challenge yourself and by jumping on one foot, that could help with height, jump higher. So you can work on your jumping muscles. Now with the plank position and a sock ball, what you can do is with a partner, with a friend, maybe a cat, what you wanna do is get in that plank position. Um, maybe both of you have a sock ball. If you're playing with somebody else, try to play directly in front of them. So my partner would be right in front of me right here, facing me. We would say uh, plank position in three, two, one, and then we would get up in our plank position and we would try to throw our sock ball um, or maybe just knock it uh, into the other person's kind of arm square goal. So you can do that. If you just want to practice the plank position by yourself, working out the arms just a little bit more, you can get up into that plank position, have your sock ball maybe on a target, a pillow, something like that, just slightly out of arm's reach or just at your arm's reach. My pillow is just at arm's reach right here. So I will set up my plank position right here and I'll reach forward put it down, switch my hand, go up, bring it back, go up, bring it back. As many times as I possibly can. And you can do that from the easy plank position on your elbows and on your knees, uh, or if you're challenging yourself, you can get up on your toes and your forearms. We're gonna do some frog jumps now using the sock ball, so this is a way to make it more fun and exciting for you and your family. With the frog jumps, remember you need to go start on the ground, jump up, go down. That is one frog jump. Every time you do one frog jump, you get to use a softball against your partner. So jumping up, down, you're gonna place a softball in front of them and they're gonna be doing the same and again, maybe set a time limit for that game. Make it a 30 second game, make it a one minute game. The more frog jumps you do, the more sock balls that you get to place in front of your partner. But it's gonna be going back and forth for a while. And the person with the 
least amount of sock balls in front of them is the winner for that round, and you can keep playing. Here's a way to make push-ups a little bit more exciting, again, using sock, rolled up sock balls, um, and a pillow. So I have my pillow here. If you're still working on getting your push-ups down, that is totally cool. Um, but once you get uh, a couple of those down, either in easy position or the more challenging one, on your toes, you can kind of spice it up a little bit, make it a little bit more entertaining and fun for you and whoever you are exercising with or playing along with. So I have my pillow here, and I have uh, about six different rolled up sock balls. And what I'm gonna do is, starting just on my pillow, it's just nice to rest sometimes. You can start from this position, and you can go up, and then, oh, take a rest. If you're still working on your push-ups. If you want to take it to the next level and turn it into a game with somebody that you are playing with, you can get your sock balls. Um, you can draw like a tic-tac-toe board in front of you, or you could just have them facing you, um, opposite of you, facing you with their own um, same number of socks. And what you can do is every time you do a push-up, you get to use a sock ball and you get to put it in their corner or in their space. And now they're going to be doing the same thing. So uh, set a time limit, maybe make it 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 10 seconds if you want to make it quick, a quick game. Um, but what you're going to do is every time you get a push-up, you get to use a sock ball, put it in their spot. You are trying to get the least amount of sock balls in your area, which is going to be where your arms are at for your push-ups. So going up, all right, once I get one push-up, I get to use a sock ball. So down, up, grab a sock ball, put it down, try to stay in the push-up position the entire time. One, two, I get another sock ball, I get to put it over there, but my partner has then just done a push-up and has put a sock ball in my area, so I need to get rid of that. So push up, get rid of that, push up, try to switch arms so you can get an even workout, push up, I get another one, and then you do that until the time runs out, again, 10, 20, 30 seconds, it can be a quick game, it can be a long game if you're really good at push-ups. Oh, uh, I also forgot, if you're still using that sock, your family might not like it, that you've rolled it up. So make sure that you unroll it so that it can get washed properly because dirty socks are gross. They need to be washed.